And you're listening to Flashpoints on Pacifica Radio. My name is Dennis Bernstein. Next, uh, Miguel Gabilan Molina remembers KPFA La Onda producer, known and loved by many as La Brava. On December 28, 2012, the world lost a great friend, Socia sister, mother, daughter, poet, activist, musician, and messenger, Norma La Brava Muyo. She was 46 years old on the day she moved on to the spirit world. She will be missed mostly for her warm, radiant smile, her strident defense of truth, and steadfast fight to deliver her word, her message, her way. Norma La Brava started in radio in 1985 while working for the International Indian Treaty Council, an NGO of the United Nations. She became a volunteer segment producer for La Onda Bajita on indigenous affairs and environmental issues. Along with Tara Dorabji, La Brava created, hosted, and produced Terra Alerta, which focused on environmental issues in indigenous lands. From there, La Brava turned her attentions to indigenous healing practices and went on to host and produce a regular segment called Ancient Medicinal Ways from the Four Directions with David Kukula. Norma La Brava survived by her only son and living members of her immediate family and a global village of native peoples. La Brava's legacy of love, unbridled devotion to the liberation of indigenous peoples everywhere will be felt like the hardest beating drum that will echo throughout the cosmos for all time to come. This is Miguel Gavilan Molina for Flashpoints. And thank you, Miguel. And of course, La Brava, we will miss her. Uh, for those of you in the Bay Area, in Berkeley, we will be celebrating in the parking lot here of KPFA, 4.30. At 5 o'clock, we will broadcast some of the ceremony live and testimonies. We will celebrate the great work, the life, the courage, the courage of at least my hero, La Brava, uh, a hero to many and a courageous soul for all. You're listening to Flashpoints. We're going to go out with the words from La Brava, her own words in her own voice. Listen to this. I saw your round face in the paper today showing off the injuries you received in Iraq. Who is this pudgy boy, I thought, looking at another young flavor of suburban America? Insert ethnicity here has returned from Iraq, minus a few treasured body parts. In shock, I thought. He must be in shock. He's proud of his losses. He must still be in shock. His faith in his patriotic duty has caused him to sacrifice his pro football career, his modeling contract, his police academy future. And now he hobbles around on crutches when he should be rock climbing barefoot in the summer, tying fishing lines for his nieces and nephews, picking flowers for his girl. For better or worse, his girl. Will she still feel the same when she sees a stump instead of the hand she once held? Will she resent having to wait for him while he climbs into his wheelchair? Will she remember the prom or the promises made to each other while camping at Big Sur that they wouldn't grow up to be like their parents, anti-war hippies with their organic gardens and recycling schedules? They were worried about nothing. After all, the U.S. wasn't at war, and the military offered a free education, too. Will she remember his heart or his hand or foot left to rot on foreign soil? Yes. He must be in shock. The only things he was freed from were his limbs and his mobility, freed from his sight and dexterity, freed from his clear skin and his confident swagger. And the only education he got was what not to do when you're 17 and foolish and you've watched too much TV and played too many video games and you want to see the world. Those ridiculous anti-war protesters. Who needs two legs anyway? When the shock wears off, round-faced boy will be raging and weeping.
in honor of women in struggle. It seems that women have always struggled to feed their families, to keep them clean, to teach them dignity. Woman, like Earth, struggles to survive, yet continues to nourish the lives she's brought forth. Women in struggle, revolution started by the grandmothers at Big Mountain. Women who struggle so long that the years flow by like water, and after 20 odd years, still no recognition. Women struggle in uncomfortable high heels and struggle with the need to look emaciated. Yes, women struggle. Women grieve over the size of their breasts and that first gray hair. Women struggle against exploitation and demeaning images of what we're supposed to be. Women struggle in abusive relationships. Women struggle against unwanted advances from their bosses. Atomic blackmail. Women struggle to save their sons and daughters from becoming fodder for the war machine and to keep them from falling in the killing fields of Oakland or Chicago or Detroit. Women struggle. Yes, women struggle. Bravo, we will miss you. We will celebrate the work, the times, the courage of La Brava Friday. Flashpoints locally will cover that. And um, we invite you to come to the parking lot here at 1929 MLK Way of the station and be a part of the live memorial service, celebration, music, and uh, testimonies. 4.30, it begins in the parking lot at 5 o'clock. Uh, we will have a sunset ceremony and celebration and more testimonies. What an honor. What a very special human being. And we appreciate that we had her here at KPFA Pacifica Radio amidst all of us and, of course, La Onda Bahita, giving her that platform that we all we all appreciate it. That's it.